really have to wonder about Bootsy Calhoun's timing. This grand Augusta lady who passed away last week was special. We found out how special she was back in 1974 when she announced that she was running for the Georgia legislature. Forget the fact that Augusta had never sent a woman to the legislature. Forget the fact that the seat she sought was held by incumbent Mackie Mulherin of the large and well-known Augusta Mulherin family. And forget the fact that she was running as a Republican, a party of such anemic influence in Georgia that it hadn't held a power in more than a century. And forget that the nation's top Republican, President Richard Nixon, had just resigned in August of 1974 in the midst of the Watergate scandal. And with all that, when Bootsy Calhoun was introduced at a political rally here at the Julian Smith Barbecue Pit that August 1974, she was mistakenly identified as the wife of another political candidate, which she ended up surprising everyone. It really shouldn't have been a surprise. Ann Carter Bootsy Calhoun had a long list of active achievements. She graduated from the University of Georgia where she earned a psychology degree in 1944. She was a longtime member of the Episcopal Church of the Good Shepherd where she was president of the women of the church. She was also a member of the American Cancer Society, the Augusta Junior League, and past president of the Girl Scout Council of Eastern Georgia. Bootsy, she got her nickname, by the way, from her older brother when he was three because he couldn't say Anne, was no political novice. She was married to William C. Billy Calhoun, who over a 30-year period served on the Augusta City Council probably longer than any man in its history. Bootsy had her own list of achievements. Called a stalwart Republican, she served on the platform committees at the party's national conventions in 1960 and 1964. She had also served as president of the Georgia Federation of Republican Women, secretary of the state party, and was a member of its executive committee. She spent eight years on the Richmond County Board of Education before deciding to run for the Georgia House of Representatives. Her strategy, she explained, was to outwork her opponent. And when the ballots were finally counted early on the morning of November 6, 1974, she had won the 88th House District seat by 49 votes. And that's how Bootsy became the first woman from Augusta to go to the Georgia legislature. I'd say her timing was just about right. <laughs>